Hi there, this is going to be a quick video um, on how to use Team Boon's storyboard. I'll do it in a few sections. Um, hopefully you can follow along and uh, and learn. So let's double click to launch the application. Okay, so you come to a welcome screen. Um, first thing is sort of like wanting to, you notice that the create button is not usable at the moment it's asking you to fill a little bit of a form in so it says well where do you want to store uh, your storyboard when we, hit, when we hit save on it you also got recent documents here so I could launch a recent document but uh, for what we're doing today we're not going to do that we're just going to create a new one we're going to call this uh, TUT67 uh, it does like unique names it doesn't like if you've already got something in in those folders uh, so just be aware of that and uh, we'll call it uh, test oh. You can spell test properly. There we go. And we'll call it subtitle test one. There we go. And then the next you need to thing to do is to say how big are you working at? What is your resolution you want to create this um, project at? So uh, in export options, you can export as images, so you can put that into a video editor to make a quick animatic, or you can export as a PDF. So if you're going to do the animatic route, uh, or if one of your options is to go animatic, then you want to try and work at the correct screen resolution uh, that your project is going to be at. Um, for what we're doing, we're going to make it at 720 by 405 at 24, 24 frames a second. That it's how it's going to work at how long each um, scene is going to be on for, and then the aspect ratio. So you've got these presets, and I've made these two at the bottom. If you want to go and make your own, hit the plus key. You decide what you want to call it, what size, and what frame rate you're running at. We'll hit cancel though. So we're all set to go with that, and we'll hit create. Right, so here we are. So we're in Toon Boom Story. What is the default layout? There are different layouts you can look at. Um, quickly, uh, I'm just going to say that how you save, cut and paste your panels is along the top. Yeah, and zooming and zooming out. And then on the left hand side are your tools for basically drawing and moving around your workspace as well. Okay, so that's what they are. That's these two areas. That, this is your main canvas. This line around here is whatever you decided your aspect ratio was that's showing you the frame size basically you can draw outside of this frame if I go and hit a, a brush for, for example and draw here you can see I can draw outside the frame or control Z that to get rid of that um, you got undo and redo on here you got some extra things down here um, okay so and on the bottom you've got a thumbnail of your current panel so let's let's see how far we can go with this and now if you can't draw does that mean can you is storyboard um not for you then well no because uh you don't have to draw uh there are some presets you can play with and you can import images as well so if you find things on the internet or you take pictures of a camera for instance you can bring them in to uh to this scene and drag them and drag and drop them onto different layers speaking of layers uh, by default you have a A layer and a background layer and a little eye saying you're looking at it for instance so if I'm on my background layer and I do a drawing here and if I take the eyes off it hides it okay and if I uh, make it so um, the little cross symbols on it it means that I can't move it or change it or edit it yeah so that makes sense whereas if I'm doing this then I can draw over it and I can delete things so, uh, so undo that and undo that and undo that and undo that okay so we've got two basic layers you can see we have layers up here for adding and removing and blah 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 blah. right so anyway uh, back to how do you create a storyboard if you can't draw then well um, going over here I spend a little time over here um, so this is where you're adding all the other you know, text that's going to be put into your PDF for instance uh, but underneath that we have the basic storyboard and this is your master area for your whole script to go in you can cut and paste out of here into this area you also have a library um, this is where you can find some templates so you've got a global local and templates so if I click on templates you see that we've got characters and if I open characters up and click on for instance Kevin you'll see there are um, some little files in this window area here called back run side three quarter so I'm going to guess that they may be characters but I don't know how they look um, and I'd like to know how they look so if I right and click in this area and go view and go view via thumbnails 
you can now see that we have thumbnails of your character. Now notice here at the moment we've only got two layers. If I go and drag a character into this layer, in into the workspace, it's going to go and it should go and create a layer for you. So click on him, drag him, drop him. You notice he's now called by whatever his name his name is on here. So he's called front because he's the front view. Okay. Um, and if I decide that he's not the right size, I want him to be bigger. Then if I might get my selection tool here and basically uh, do a selection around him, then let go. You can see that he's all selected I can scale him bigger and taller yeah and then I can click in the middle and decide where I want to go and place him so I'm going to place him here for instance okay and then I can click off to one side and that drops the selection alright so that's good but is is in a world of white so I'd like to put him in a um, an environment of some sort so uh, let's go and close down characters for the moment and let's look at sets and we've got a few basic sets in here so let's go and put him in a room. So let's go and click and drag on here and put this in room. Click on here and let go. Okay, that's good. And you can notice that this is in room. So let's go again, use the left down mouse button and really badly just draw all the way around it to go and select all of it. And now I can position this over here, for instance, and decide that I want it to be uh, that big. And for what we're doing, I'm just going to go and stretch it just so it fits okay so that room now fits in the only hassle we've got now is uh, well where's our character gone ah interesting now you can see that the room is at the top of our list it's it's the one that's in front of all the other layers so what we really want um, is we want th this little guy to be in the front or simpler I really want the room just to be at the back that'd be a lot easier wouldn't it so let's go room layer and then let's go to uh, send layer to the back okay so we're all done now so I can now let go of that click on that so now I've got our character in the room uh, regarding background as a layer let's go and delete the layer shall we so let's go and de 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 delete layer okay and do we need um, that one we do need that one we don't need A let's select the A layer here and we go to layer and we're going to go again to uh, delete the layer that one okay so now we've got it so we've got the room and this guy here so let's go and add a new scene um, matter of fact we can do several things here with scenes so we can do um, add a scene add a panel duplicate selected panels and then delete so let's go and duplicate this panel okay and let it do its thing. Okay, so he's duplicated. Now we've got the front guy in the front here, so we can go over to him. And what I'm going to do with him is I'm going to go and now move him, rescale him to be, say, about that big. And basically put him in the back. So he's now in the back of the room. So you now notice he's here, now he's here. And also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn him so he's that way around, so it's slightly different. So we've got a different stance. Okay. I'm going to introduce a new character. So let's go back to our characters. Um, and let's try and find, see what we've got here. So let's put this girl in as well. So drag her in. Drag and drop. Uh, again, loop around her. And we'll get her running into the room. Okay. And that's what's happening. So we've got this guy here. And then she runs into the room. Okay, so uh, we're getting the idea of how things are working. Currently, you'll notice that when we added this in here, these uh, got this sort of grey area around it. And what this is, this is den denoting a scene. Okay, so let's go and add a new scene. So let's go to the top here and say add scene. And you'll notice that, um, let's wait till it does its thumbnail, it's, there's a definite gap in here. So these are two interior so this is one scene of the interior of the house for instance we're going to add a new scene in which case let's go down to sets again and let's go um, and grab on the beach one shall we and let's drag and drop that beach one in there and then we're going to go again loop around with your left hand mouse button I'm just going to go and stretch it to fit because it just makes it just so much simpler okay so that now fits now let's get rid of A. I don't need A. Layer and um, 
delete layers and then background we don't need that either layer and delete layer okay so only got one layer in here and what we can now do is um, go back to uh, our friends again see what we got let's look at uh, this guy and he's sort of like I think he can be drag him over here okay and they're going to be looking at the beach so grab around him and I'm going to have him facing that way so he's looking out make him a little bit less squishy put him down here maybe and make him a bit taller okay that's good and then let's go to the other girls so let's get this girl here and uh, yeah drag her in go around her again put her to be a, a similar sort of size so about that big but she's facing the wrong way so let's sort that out Okay, and they're looking at something else. Let's look into props. And we'll put a boat in there. That makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, so what we've got now is, um, yeah, we're doing quite well on this, I think. Let's see how we're doing with the old time. 11.44, we're doing okay. Let's, we'll stop in a sec. Right, I'll stop in a sec. Um, so, okay, so let's go and add some more scenes, for instance. So let's go and add um, a scene here. Let draw that in. Okay, so um, two things I want to show you how to do uh, is, one, I want to join this together to be one scene, for instance. So let's click on them two together. So they're here. And then here we can. Da, 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 da. How do we join scene? Join selected panels to make a scene. So I've got these two selected with the little blue borders, and so join them two together. So they're now selected. If I want to, then go to this guy here and go again to uh, sets and join in here and drag and drop that guy in there, and again zoom in here. Here. Basically, we're, we're doing the same thing, aren't we? Again, but I actually want to maybe zoom in quite a bit. So do it like that. Okay, and then I'm going to go and drag um, our little guys in here. Maria, put her in. I think you're getting the idea, aren't you? Okay. Right, so let's have a look. Um, at, so we're looking at this now. So we've got these as blah, 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 blah. Um, the other thing I want to maybe want to work out, how do you split these two things? Same again. So you just need to uh, select th those two there and go storyboard. And you can uh, split the current scene if you wanted to. So they're now two separate scenes. Okay, do it that way. Let's look at the different views. So if we're now looking thumbnail view, you can see, how, see we've now got thumbnails. You might say that, well, okay, so this guy really wants to be before this one. So I can click on this guy here, left hand mouse, and drag it. You'll notice it can either join that and be uh, become a scene, or go into the middle, or we could join that scene. Let's make it on its own. And it's now going to say, um, what do you want to do? Do you want to, new name is 2-1, uh, current scene only um, and let's just go renumber scenes hit go so that's now 2-1 yeah 1-1-2-1-3-1 one, 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 there you go and there you go so that's all good and groovy you can also look at it in this view here as you can see them and in this view and if you want to go and add any dialogue you can just you just type it in yeah and we'll go back to our working panel and I think that will do us for the moment. Um, let's uh, let's see what we get when we export to PDF. So export to PDF, and we'll make it in 
we'll do it in vertical panels and yeah do you want to overwrite the exist file yeah overwrite it okay and then we can look at this and then we've got this guy here let's go in full view so you can see what we've got here now the only thing you will notice um, you do have the extras you didn't you don't get the cutoff um, on this so just to be aware of that so let's close that down how are we doing for time right that's it we have to go catch you in a bit